Hi, my beautiful Virgos, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. So for those of you that are new, welcome. And if you are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. So we are just going to kind of relax and just pull whatever it is that needs to come out. Attraction. I was feeling very much like romantic, um, you know, romance is in the air type of energy before I started, um, you know, getting ready to do readings today. And then it was interesting that yours was the first one. So the first intuitive message I would say from that is, I feel like there's some new love coming in or like the relationship that you're in is kind of about to be spiced up. It's gonna be shaken up in a way that um, is unexpected. This could be something as simple as somebody doing something to change their hair, change their style. But I feel there's this level of self-care that you and your person are putting in that's gonna like grow the relationship. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. This is also about your environment, your surroundings, you know, making sure that your home smells nice, making sure that you smell nice, that your home is looking beautiful, filled with things that you love, your closet is looking beautiful and filled with things that you love. It's like creating a life that is aesthetically pleasing to you. This is a good time for you to attract, right? So for those of you that are single, by focusing on yourself, your self-care, your self-love, um, falling in love with yourself is how you attract someone to fall in love with you. You don't have to put any work or any advances. Some of you that are in a connection and you feel as though you're putting too much effort, it's definitely time to take your power back. You get what you want by staying in your power. Anything that makes you take a step down is not meant for you, no matter how bad you may want it. Right? Not everything that we want for ourselves is good. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So if you guys do travel, you are gonna meet a new love. Others of you here, this is just this energy of like the honeymoon phase starting all over again with a connection or some of you, um, a new connection that's in this honeymoon phase. There's a lot of go with the flow energy, right? Some of you, this is a reminder to be present. Be present with this new connection. Be present with this connection that's in your life right now. Enjoy the moment while getting to where it is that you ultimately end, um, want to end up with this person. So the more present that you are around this time, the more happiness and fulfillment you'll uh, receive. Somebody is very, very much attracted to you though. I feel there's somebody here who loves, um, it's like somebody here who you, for some of you, you don't even know this person, but they just like think about how good you would smell. You just look like somebody that would smell really good. And this is somebody who's like really curious to know, like, what is your scent? What is your secret scent? Others of you, this is, it's like, you don't realize that you are known as somebody who smells really good. It's something that people commonly say about you. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Yeah. I feel like this is gonna be like, a, I'm like feeling like a slow wine type of energy. Like you're gonna be getting wined and dined and I know that it is your, um, like, it's like, this is your birthright. This is what you've always known that you were worthy of. But maybe it's coming at a time where you didn't expect it, right? This could also be somebody who wasn't really showing you, um, you know, they kind of got a little bit too comfortable in the relationship and they want you to know that you know, yeah, they slipped a little bit, but uh, they still appreciate you for everything that it is that you are here. Yeah, I feel like someone's falling in love with you. They didn't like expect you to be as deep as you are. They like, um, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. They definitely, you know, it's not that they judged you in a bad way per se. They just, um, you surprise them in many ways and you continue to surprise them. 
you, this is somebody who thinks that you keep them on their feet, getting to know each other is in reverse. So as you um, reveal your innermost self to one another, your bond deepens. Some of you, you're gonna feel like you wanna rush this connection, like you wanna rush this relationship because it's just gonna feel right, but make sure you really get to know this person because it may just be so nice and easy that you guys skip the part of like, actually it's like you get, it's kind of like skip to marriage, you know what I mean? So maybe so nice and easy where you don't actually end up asking questions because you're just kind of having so much fun in the moment. There are no awkward moments that you feel you need to fill in with, you know, random questions, but really like take the time with this person. There's no need to rush. I'm hearing slow and steady wins the race when it comes to this person. Some of you with getting to know each other in reverse, it could be that like you are getting to know a deeper part of yourself um, or for you to fully understand what it is that you seek in a person, you have to understand yourself a little bit more. You know, make sure to keep your independence while in a relationship. Cause I don't see codependency, but you know, I do feel like these are two people that once they are together they're like tied at the hip you know we have children your love life is being affected by children and playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine at the bottom of the deck we have new love a new romantic person has stirred up your feelings yeah, I feel like um, you're gonna really be feeling like it's like young, wild, free. You're gonna be feeling playful. Like this is falling in love. This really is falling in love. Um, but like without all that extra like baggage of like, what if this happens or what if I can't trust this person or holding on to things from the past, it's like a light energy. You may not even realize you've, you've fallen in love with this person or that you are when you do start to fall in love. I feel like this is something that's just like, you're naturally gonna feel as if like you're going down the slide and you're kind of like just falling in love with this person. Yeah. You've been with this person for a while around your anniversary. Um, there could be talk of children. You could be deciding to have children with this person. And for others of you, I feel like within the first year of being with this person, I do see children um, in the cards for you. This person's name could start with a P, a C, possibly an N or a G. Somebody here is 35 or 42, 26. Somebody has a 40th um, or somebody just passed, just passed the 40th birthday or maybe your person has a 40th birthday coming up. You've been thinking about changing your hair now is the perfect time acceptance the world will accept you as you are so put yourself out there um you, you know this is a good time for you to take risks right really put yourself out there um get to know people the way that you are know that the people that are coming into your life right now are going to accept you for everything that you are somebody loves that you are just so grounded and humble and stable and solid this person knows that they can depend on you. They know that you are trustworthy. They don't know that you were, you know, you would be there if they ever needed you. If they ever needed a shoulder, you would definitely be there. And it's like silently, silently you've shown up for this person in ways that no one has before. Or you've done things to make this person know that. So this person could have had like a fear of rejection and it's like they've kind of like overcome that to be with you or this is somebody who's overcoming a fear of rejection in order to be with you. 
like you force this person to look at them look at themselves in the mirror now for others of you this is someone from the past same scenario um but you know they were you were supposed to teach them a lesson and now they're realizing that lesson that doesn't mean that they get you back So when that person comes back, ask yourself, is it worth it? I've been staring at this deck for like almost the whole time. So I feel like it's going to take me forever to get cards if I don't just pull something from this deck. What is it? Okay. Hidden fears and insecurities are blocking our connection. Yeah. Confirmation that this person they were dealing with some serious, you know, fears. And this had nothing to do with you, but at the same time, there was also nothing that you could do. Um, even though you actually were the one who helped this person to get over them, it's like there was nothing that you could have been aware of doing. It was really just you being you that, you know, helped this person here. They were afraid to get close to you. They were afraid to love you because without even allowing themselves, they had already fallen in love with you. So how insane would it be if they just allowed themselves to fully fall into you? Like, this person loves you wholly. I think you are going to, you're gonna be in for a treat. I understand why I had to pull this tag. It's you, it's always been you. Yeah, it's you. It's all. It's always been you. Just happy, like you just make this person happy. That's all anybody ever wants. You make them feel light. You make them feel safe. You make them feel secure. You make them feel like they can do things that. It's like you know. You can come up with a million excuses for anything. But there's always that one person or hopefully, you know, sometimes it's only that one person for a certain category where it works, but where no matter what it is that you say, they come up with something, the perfect answer that just calms you, that just soothes you, that, that just makes what you made seem so complicated, seem like it's nothing, right? Something that you think would take a year, they make it seem like it would take 25 minutes. And it's like, that's you. So people love your energy. They love your presence. You have this strong nurturing sense where it's like, even if you are literally freaking out because you have no idea what to do, you just look like you have it together still. You really do. And I feel there's a strong energy where not only the person that you're dealing with, but just in general, people talk about you very highly. Like there's a level of respect that people have for you. The only thing I would say that you need to really work on is like learning to say no, learning to put yourself first um, and making sure that all the people around you, like that there aren't, because I feel like there are certain energies that take a lot more. It's almost like on the verge of or past using you, right? Taking advantage of your kindness. So, okay, but that is what I have for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And if you do, um, you can feel free to hit that subscribe button. Every single month, I choose a giveaway winner to win a free reading. I love you guys. Personal readings are in the description box below. Instagram, uh, crystals, everything you guys need. I love you so much. Take care.